So that's a really, really good deal. Uh, for those of us out there that are looking to save an extra couple of bucks, that's the way to do it. Especially on a great big crafting day as we continue with our next hour of our crafting event. event everybody i am super super excited to be able to uh get to uh work with the incredible donna dewberry uh you known her for for many many years and she's done such wonderful jobs teaching people how to paint her incredible one stroke painting uh, all kinds of things and we've come up with a way to launch her right out of the cannon here with our showstopper coming your way next Donna, hello, my dear. It's so hey. good to see you. And I haven't had a chance to work with you in a while. I know. I always love it because I, I love what you bring to people out there, which is the ability to, to tell them anybody can really paint. You just have to you have I to know. learn the basics. You have to have the right tools. And that's, that's right. what Donna uh, always brings us. It's totally awesome. And also what I love about what you do is it's stress-free. I think when anybody has to learn something new, right. they're like, I can't do it. I can't. They, they find blocks in the road and they stop. But you kind of, you help us to get through all those little blockades and you help to unleash the artist that I think is in probably all of us. It right? is, and if you're out there saying you can't even draw a stick figure, then you're the ones for me because yeah. I've made a, a program together that you can paint at home with your teacher. I'm gonna be right there with you. Yeah, and it's everything that you yeah. need uh, from top to bottom for your indoor, your outdoor craft products. They're all designed by Donna. Uh, even the brushes, everything that she put in here, yeah. she put in to say, I'm going to make this easy for you. I'll step over to your side. and okay. we'll I love that you give us the teaching guides. So I know. Even when you're not there, right? That's right. You got the teacher there so, with you. So what's in the kit? Okay, so we have this luscious folk art multi-surface, and it's just what it says, multi-surface. So okay. metal, ceramic, yeah, fabric, walls. And then we have the folk art floaty medium that I use. Then what I love about this is that with one-stroke painting, you need thick, luscious paint. Right. You, so you can't use a thin paint. So I take light and dark and put it together and you have wonderful shades yes. in between. So then we're gonna have my brushes. These are one stroke brushes, folk art one stroke brushes that I designed to do my technique. So when I show you how to use those, you're gonna be blown away. Right. But look at these guides. You're gonna have all these strokes. So they're my strokes at home with you and they're UV coated. So you're gonna have all these step by step. Yeah. After you practice, I'll show you how we practice. Then all of these designs, you're gonna have all kinds of birds and insects yeah. and leaves. I and, love all your tricks. Isn't that fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I do. I give you the tricks to make I it know. happen. And you know, Donna, too, isn't that, and that's a lot of it, you know, when you look at a lot of the incredible painters out there, they utilize a lot of their own special skills and tricks that's to get right. things done. And there are things you can learn. It's not all just, okay, they were an artist from the day they, they were born. You know, there, there are things you can really learn. But people think that, though. I they know, think, I oh, know. you have to know how to paint. So <laughs> let me show you. Okay. We're going to get two colors together. So we're going to go right in between. Yeah. And you know what? I created this at my dining room table with seven children and 26 grandbabies now. Oh and what I've done is I created over 20 years ago and have 14,000 instructors around the world. So what happens is I show you how to stroke this. Yes. And then you go to the next stroke Okay. and then the next stroke, and then the UV, what it means is that you can wipe this off and practice again, guys. Oh, wow. So I have all the strokes. Let me show you the leaves. You're gonna love this. Yeah. All right, really quick, I'm putting two colors. I'm using a light color and a dark color. Yeah. See how quick I'm doing you that? work it into the brushes, All right, okay. so you're gonna get five brushes in here. I'm using a bigger brush real quick because I want you to see so I'm bigger than my stroke. Yeah. So this is what I want you to do. The first time you do this, I want you to do it slow. All right, I'm gonna take a minute to show you that. We're gonna start here, and my brushes have a great chisel, and they're made different than other, like number 12 brushes. So look, I'm gonna follow that stroke real simple. Doesn't that look easy? Oh my gosh. Here, try that side yeah, right there. You just kinda, you You're just standing straight up. Nope, like straight this. up. Okay. All right, and so when you push down, then you just move back and forth and fill that in. So what's gonna happen? Let oh, me show I got you. It just took a little bit yeah. of a sec. Yeah. Oh yeah, so now it looks, it really looks like a leaf. Yeah, <laughs> wow. so, so now okay. this, is one of the strokes I'm showing you. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put some leaves, okay? Stroke, and it blends shades and highlights in every stroke. So you have the medium, you have everything you need to make that happen. So here's just some simple leaves, but look, then we have the fern. 
So yeah. what I do is you could do this on glass, ceramic, metal. You can paint on walls, which I do a lot of on yeah. fabric. And <laughs> you can make something that will blow you away to decorate. And you know, having seven children, I was always trying to figure out how to decorate my house right. with what I had. So taking trash to treasure. Sure. And so we painted many walls and many pieces of furniture. Now look how fast that happens. All right, so, but this happens because my brushes are made to spring back up. Right. They have their quality. They make this really wonderful. So I'm just telling you, you can't become a good artist if you don't have good brushes. No, and you had said like with that chisel finish that gives you that edge and then, and, yeah. then, and of course the width, the way they're all designed a little bit differently because obviously leaves and flowers are all different sizes. And the thickness. Um, and, and the, the thickness. thickness. Yeah, yeah. So what I've done over the years is I've made it possible for millions of you to be able to come out and start painting and we <laughs> are so thrilled to be back on hsn awesome. and we have so much for you guys we're excited <sighs> now see that's for those pretty people out there i i will say if you have a spot you don't like just yeah. put wisteria on it <laughs> oh so gosh. that's my right. version of yeah, the crazy wisteria but again there's another there's another little trick in the trade and all those right. things that you get to learn because not everybody is going to be perfect nature's not perfect you know that's nature right. is what it is so you're okay to do that i I want to remind everybody too uh, that we um, that we also have the uh, the other paint set available mm -hmm. right there, and you can see that's more colors also available. And then we've also got the one stroke uh, stencil and practice set that's also available. We'll talk a little bit uh, more about that in a bit, but I just wanted to mention all the different things that we have. Um, and uh, and of course, remember anybody can do this. You just have to have a little bit of of time and a little bit of desire to sort of open up uh, that uh, inside. And by the way, um, take a look at some of the things that we can do and things that we can create that Donna has put together. Um, window panes, you can do it on furniture, you can do frames. There's a little, I think that's just a little watering can on top. You yeah. can turn anything that you want into a piece of exactly. art. Exactly, yeah. so I want you to see that we have butterflies, birds, flowers, and I want you to think about everything in your house that you would like to turn into something. Now, this is really easy, see my numbers? Yeah. I go one, two, three, four, five, and over here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you're, this is a sunflower, this is one of the things that people love about my technique is if you don't like it, just remember to go back over and restroke it and just yeah. practice. It takes practice to be good. So see, that's already got shading in it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then I get both these colors with my 12. And this isn't fancy, guys. Look, two colors. Grab the wet and pull out. So see, you're just pushing and lifting. My brush is spring for you. Yeah. And so we have 10 colors, five brushes, and I didn't count the elements this time, but I'm telling you, you've got 11 by 17 worksheets that are three, two-sided, and yeah. they've got that UV coating. So you can just practice to your heart's content and you can practice with your friends because they can sit with one worksheet and you with another. And so how fast that happens, right? I, I love watching you do your stuff and, and because I'm always so impressed at what you're doing creates what's coming out on paper because it's like you're doing these simple steps but then when you stand back you're like oh my gosh that, <laughs> that sunflower looks like it would take somebody two hours to paint you did that in about 30 seconds yeah so, and, and you know what I had started out by painting on metalware yeah. for, for a company and so I had to figure out how do I do oh this really God fast it. okay now look <laughs> Look at this. So See this right here? Yeah, yeah. So there's every different kind of leaf that you want to do right. on a different flower, I teach you. So it's just yeah. as easy, guys. I want to show you. And you saw that chisel at the end when you just drew the little, the connecting little vine that goes up there. That, see, those are all the things that you're going to learn when you when you do this. And and I'm telling you, okay. the learning curve is is nothing. You'll get really good really quickly. Quickly. Here's some samples. These are, this is everything you're going to learn in this one kit. Now, when you have 10 colors, you have the floating medium, you have the five brushes, and all of these worksheets. So this is like me at home with you. So I want you to know that you can do this. I have millions of people around the world. I have over 14,000 teachers around the entire world. Yes. How cool is that? That have looked at it in different languages and all too. And, and they can actually paint. You don't see that one too yeah. well, do you? All right. And so oh, look, vines and texturally, colors. And, all, and, and remember the key is, is having the learning guides, going through some of the steps that it takes to just learn the basic strokes, but then also having 
having the right paints and the right brushes, which are so important. When you saw Donna doing the sunflower, you saw that with that brush, she not only created the, the main flower and the leaves, but the vining that goes in between because of that chiseled edge. So she's gonna give you the right brushes that you need. Hey, Guy, grab that glass vase down there okay. because and we have glass right here and ornaments. This yeah. is that tone on tone. Look at, can I show you? And by the way, um, Donna mentioned in the beginning too, um, that <laughs> my shirt almost covers it up, uh, that um, the paints are also created in such a way that you can uh, use them on coverage on things like glass and metal and wood, all that stuff. She made real good, thick, sturdy paint. And outdoor, indoor, so yes. you don't even have to put a sealer. It's ready to go. So rustic wood, metal. Look at, oh, look at the, I love the little, and you know, you can go and buy either glass or plastic ornaments like this, and you can buy them in bulk. You can get them online, whatever, and you can create one-of-a-kind ornaments. Now, how fun is that? Look and that. And this is the other thing I want you to see. I tell a lot of people, especially when you're retired and you're like, I don't want another thing in my house, how many of you would like to to do your own greeting cards. And I, you see a lot of people doing greeting cards around here. Well, I like you to take your leftover paint after your project and just throw it on a few greeting cards and make sure you do the envelope too. When my daughter passed away, the thing I loved were all the artists that sent me their cards mm -hmm. and I still have those cards and I could see they they were beginners or they were... they were. But how impressive would that I know. be to give yeah. somebody a painted card? If that, I got a painted card, I'd probably start crying when I opened it up. I'd be like, oh my I, gosh, because that's... I cried that's, a lot. Well, yeah, but, that, but it's because that's that's artwork that is not mm. something that you hey listen it's wonderful to go and spend five dollars on a card don't get me wrong and you can keep them doing that all day but if you take the time to actually paint a birthday card a christmas card a get well card exactly. a sympathy card and 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 when you realize that you know donna can put a card together like that and it doesn't take her an hour to make it. I know, right? it's not blood, sweat, and tears. No, you're just, and you know, it's still personal. Yes, right? and you know what? They don't see mine. So if you're thinking, oh, this doesn't look good, people so much think you're an artist. Now, quick and easy, they're simple strokes. They blend, shade, and highlight with each stroke. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> I love how quick. And, and you're going to, you know, and if Donna was really cranking here, trust me, she could go through sheet after sheet after sheet of this. <laughs> Keep in mind, uh, there are so many, so many hundreds of thousands of people that have benefited and have learned um, from your systems and, and probably millions. I mean, I mean, when you think about the people and the teachers that, that you've uh, inspired to be able to teach this, because, you know, listen, every kid out there, Little kids, big kids, grown-ups, adults, they all have the ability uh, to create art, right? We all right. do. Uh, it's just you have to have the right tools. It's like I say with anything. You know, I'm, a, I'm in the big into the kitchen and cooking and all. you got to have good tools to do that, too. I know, I know. And we right? put it all together for you. We're with, um, we have amazing product for you to paint on yeah. amazing things for your home. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to remind everybody, too, uh, before Donna goes, that we also have, uh, would you talk about the specialty brushes really quick, Donna? Because I know we have a 7 and a 10 piece. Okay. Well, the 10 piece are the my those brushes are the ones that are my value pack. They're yeah. the ones I always use. Right. And so, and it's good to have two sets because I'm just telling you, not just because I want to sell them, I just want you to know, right. you can have your green on the one brush and then flip over to your flower colors and you right. want to have those different brush and brushes. I I have 250 in each of those, and okay. I know those will go. And here's what I'll tell you. If you are, whatever you get today, if you are an artist or if you're not or aspiring or whatever and you need brushes, these are the brushes that you want because the brush itself makes the job so much easier. You need to get this. 081236. Yeah, the specialty set right there has angle brushes and make fun yeah. roses and other stuff. All right. So we're going to move on, and now we're going to talk about the one-stroke stencil and paint set. So again, more, we're getting, you know, we're moving along into even a more fun crafting ideas and ways that you can create. This is 614780. That's the item number when you ordered. It's only $29.95. Uh, this is all about, you know, learning that one-stroke method that we talked about. It's brand new, and again... You can create beautiful works of art, and you can do that totally stress-free, no mistakes. You're gonna learn to shade, to blend, to highlight, and you're gonna do it in a very fun and easy way. And I think, Donna, any any crafting project, any medium, right, you can utilize right. this. Right, so if you're out there doing some of those painting classes that are out there, but you wanna be able to make yours look different than everybody sure. else, um, what I've done here is I have, do you know there's a painter sponge? That's a Donna Dupree yeah. painter sponge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happens is I start with a light color and do an ombre, like people say, they do yeah. ombre hair sure. so we do light darker green darker green then why I do mine different is I put stencils so I said I've got to have a kit with my stencils it has it all, so right? let me show you what yeah. we have here we have eight sides of 
of uh, designs here that you're gonna learn how to do step by step with me. And these, instead of being UV, I wanted more in here. So these are gonna be a plastic sleeve that you can put these all in and practice on, okay? So you're gonna practice right on here. I'm gonna show you that rose. You're gonna get that sponge that I use. And listen, I use this side, I push my fingers down and I pull and I make a brick on the wall. I can take this side and make round edges when I'm doing a wall painting. I use this for my canvas. I use this for everything that I do. All right, and so what we have now, we have um, pastel colors. They're vintage colors. I thought this would be really fun. And you're gonna have the same uh, folk art multi surface paint, which is luscious and it goes on all kinds of surfaces, yeah. indoor, outdoor. And then this doesn't have the brushes, but it has all our stencils here. Yeah, but so, we have the brushes available. So right, you can right, grab right. Those. That's what we we're yep. just showing you. Yeah. So I have seven stencils, and these are my favorite. So let me show you real quick. Like, look at this. I use this one little stencil on a lot of places. You yeah. saw it on the other project. Yeah. So look how fun these are. And every one of these are one of the different stencils. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you the stencil first. All right. So here's my stencil stencils and then I'm going to show you how I use them. All right. We just did them all green so you can see. See how fun those are? Yeah. I use this for winter so that you can do snowmen with glitter sure. and all right and, and the Eiffel Tower, some sure. lettering. Okay yeah. now these more. See more and more. So see how I put the Eiffel Tower on the table with the oh, yeah. rose and then there's all sorts of stencils <laughs> in the background that just makes it really fun. Okay so I'm going to show you how I make that happen. All right so let's just grab a stencil here. All right, so I'm gonna do, this is one of my favorite okay. I use a lot. So you're gonna like this because you just dampen your sponge slightly, sure. okay? So I'm gonna start with a little light green on here. So if I do dark here, I, I know you're supposed to tape it down, I'm bad, I break all the rules. That's okay. All right, so I want you to At see. At home you might wanna tape this down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know. When you're on, hey, when you're on TV and you've got know, millions know, of people know, watching, know. then you don't have I to know. use tape. But for right now. Okay, <laughs> so now look. So I like to do that ombre feel. So oh, see, so now, cool. now when you put a flower on here, yeah. I want to show you how fun this is going to be. You're going to take and look at this. We have all kinds of flowers for you to learn. Look, this is the flower I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So this is that oversized flower. We're doing a lot of this look. Okay. So we're going to get pink. Can you see this over here? Yeah. yeah. Pink and yellow on the other side. Okay. So what I'm going to teach you, and I'm going to even grab some white. So we're multi-layering the brush with color. Oh, yeah. All right. So look, I just keep getting lots of paint. Most of and you. And shrink it down to the point. Yeah. Most of yeah. you won't. Hey, listen, you already know yeah. how. Yeah. I'm watching you. I'm yeah. all, see, I'm, I'm going to watch first and then I'm like, okay, I get this. <laughs> I know. But, I, but I, I see how you're and then you're pulling it back into the into Right, the because I have those great chisel edges, yes. right? You can't beat my brushes. You're gonna absolutely fall oh in love with them and you're gonna keep saying, okay, I'm gonna get more of these. Now look, what I'm doing is now I'm gonna put another layer on front, but see my color doesn't show there. So the beauty of one stroke painting is that you just pick up more paint. Right. All right, so now look what happens. I'm gonna not even clean my brush. Can they see that? Yeah, yeah and get the green right in here, pull us down on the chisel. Then we're gonna take and do a big leaf. And what makes it look really nice is that you have that stencil underneath, okay? Yes. So your background like that. So I can paint upside down, but that didn't look very good. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Pretty. So anyway, I, I'll put some more stencils in the corner. Sure. I'll do the Eiffel Tower and other things. But I want you to see, again, we are practicing on these guides. Yeah. So it's like the teacher's at home with you. And this is the important part, too, because you've got step-by-step -step, um, instructions as you go through. And then not only that, but even pedal by pedal. You know what I mean? So, so what Donna does is she makes it... Almost, I mean, it's ridiculously foolproof, guys, because you, you you paint right on the design, and then you can wipe that off. It's it's uh, coated on the outside, so you can take that and wipe that off. And then what you're basically doing is recreating what you see right in front of you. Yes, yeah, so you know? you're doing step by step. All I asked you to do is when you first stroke, I want you to go slow until you feel the movement. So the movement is push, lift as we lift. 
push lift. All right, and after you do that, just like I was showing you before. And you know what? If you're out there and you're thinking, yeah, right, she can do this. I've got proof. I've got millions of people around the world yeah. that do these strokes with me. And and you can just go to YouTube and see all the people. They're like well, doing You have a lot of support. I know yes, you do. And, yes. and following and, and lots of ways that you can build on whatever experience or little la or lack of experience that you have, but you can really go far. And what you're watching is, is when we talk about that one stroke, just watch how Donna just moves it. And you can see what you're doing as you're going. That's the yeah, real thing. Yeah, and then you wipe it off you know? and do it again. Yeah, and it's right on, over the top. It's not even like you're trying to t look at a picture and paint something a foot away. <laughs> it's right there in front of you. So it really, that that's part of the getting rid of that that big learning curve is, is that it's right there in front of you. This is only $29.95. Again, you get all the paints, you get the sponge, you get the, the, uh, the, the learning guides that you paint right on. You get all that. Remember today, it's only $5 to ship everything uh, and it's four flex uh, on everything as well because it's our crafting event so once that's you fill up your deal. car isn't that yeah, a great deal that's a great so, deal. Um, anyway oh look at the little see you know what i love about about using the sponge too is the sponge it's automatic well, it automatically <laughs> distresses it right? yes yes it automatically looks so like i distress the edge of the canvas yeah. with whatever colors i'm using yeah. see how easy this is paper so if it does it easy on paper yeah. and so i messed up there so all i have to do is rub that it up makes doing clouds a lot easier yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brush, right? and, <laughs> so I want you to think this is vintage colors. These are hot, hot, hot now using these great colors and they go in anybody's house and powder yeah. rooms and bathrooms. And I was an yeah. interior de decorator and what I loved is in Florida walls, they were heavy stucco and all yeah. and you couldn't put wallpaper. So we would go in and I would paint. So, yeah. so this is what we've got. We've got yeah. many, many worksheets for y'all to learn. And it doesn't really show, a lot of people were online trying to look. So you can't see all the stencils, but I want you to see there's hot air balloons and yeah. flower carts okay. and um, Paris. Paris yeah. is really popular, so we put, oh, yeah. you can write the mm -hmm. words, customize it to the family name. A lot of people like to do like a powder room with that uh -huh. kind of French country right, right, theme. Right. So you could, or maybe you've traveled or aspired to travel somewhere. It really is. And is, my painter is sponge great. is going to be your best tool. All right. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to remind you too, uh, grab this, grab all these things. Remember, they both the sets that we showed you today come with the painter's guide, so it makes it a lot easier. Uh, you're really only limited by your own imagination, and, and, and don't don't let somebody tell you you can't do something because this is something you can exactly. do. Exactly. But you're going to need the right equipment Look and the right fun. tools. Yeah, I love how you've, yeah, and, and this could be, a, it could be a picture frame. It could be a collection of photographs. It could be whatever it is uh, that you want to paint. You can do it. And again, in, indoors, outdoors, the paint is durable. It can handle all that And it's stuff. the time of the year to get ready for the holidays. I and I want, I want you to know I have saved money and made money by painting all my gifts. And then, you know, I sold them and I and I shared with my One friends. One of a kind stuff, yes. right? And, and think about making your own cards and you can do that. And you, you could probably make a dozen cards faster than you can drive to the store. I made all my cards for five <laughs> years to prove to y'all, yes. Well, it's wonderful to see you Thank as you. always. I always have so much fun. I'm always so impressed and you, you go so so fast and you do everything so great. Hey, by the way, the brushes are available. Um, and actually Donna has them. So the 10 piece set, is extremely popular and there's only there's only 50 left of those so oh those went very very quickly jump in there guys these are good uh, that's that's really the great bargain if you'd like the the seven piece obviously those are the larger brushes uh these only 100 or so left of those they are both on four flex <laughs> so like two or three dollars to get those we out. have larger brushes for big painting we have fan, fan brushes, brushes. Beautiful. angle brushes you make great yep. roses with angle brushes all right wonderful thank job you guys again. Again, we look forward to seeing you and we're so happy you're back with us Thanks, uh, guys. Uh, the lovely lucy Luciana is coming up next with her animated stuff. I can't wait for that, so stick around. Our craft event continues. Have you signed up for HSN email? Sign up for HSN emails now to stay connected on our hottest and newest deals of the week, and you'll even receive exclusive coupons and never miss a Today's Special. We'll send you the scoop on our best value of the day straight to your inbox. So head on over to hsn.com now and search email to sign up today. Welcome to Generation Wow. For over 75 years, HP has been the leader in innovation, pioneering technology through cutting-edge products and forward-thinking solutions. HP makes life better for everyone, everywhere. From laptops and desktops to monitors and printers, the visionaries at HP create experiences that amaze. Let their experts help you reinvent how you work, play, and live. HP and HSN. Keep reinventing. Only on HSN. All right, we are joined by...
uh, Luciana Caballero. I love saying your name. It's so much fun. <laughs> uh, and, yes. and I will tell you, yes. the stuff that you bring is yes. the coolest. It's some of the coolest stuff because, you know, I'm learning the crafting business, right. all that stuff. You showed me this, and I'm like, oh, my God. I can't believe it's like moving pictures. This is neat. It's called our animation stamps, our heart, right. our, uh, our motion crafts, heart and Teddy animation stamp and die set. Um, you want to add super fun animated activities to all your stamps. Watch your projects come to life. This is the way to do it. You can create. Look at, look at, look at. It's like a movie. I'm watching a movie. Uh, it's uh, super fun animated scenes that you can create. All the stamps, dies, and grids are included. So much fun. And Luciana is here to tell us everything that you get and how much fun you can. Yeah, and boy, when you get, when you give these to kids, or you give even if I gave this to my mom, she'd be like, "Oh my god!" I know. So cool. I was playing with my niece last yeah. night. I was like, "Can I try that one? Can I try that Very one?" Very special. So she loves all the background. Yeah. So this is another card that you can create like, from start to beginning with the die cut that you get included. Uh -huh. And then here, if you want to see the different backgrounds that you have. So what's <sighs> fun about the backgrounds is that you can use the own characters that you already have with yeah. your with your stamps. But we give you a teddy bear with a sentiment, and it's super cute and fun with the coordinated die cut so you can complete your card <laughs> and see all these backgrounds come to life. So here we have like maybe a different card that you can put the teddy that comes in the set yeah. and then look at look how fun that is oh, like, when like you a, see yeah, the like rotating wheel. wheel, right? That is super cute. And then everything is included. You, you get your animation grid, you get the instructions so you can yeah. follow them at home. Easy. I can show you really quick how we, we can put one together. Yeah, let's make one. And I would remind you too, I, I only have 1,500 of these and I know from the response, people are like, oh my gosh, if, I, if you've never tried these before and you get them, when you send these to people, they are floored. They're like, oh my gosh, that card is I the love coolest. how they get surprised yeah, every time right? they open it or like slide yeah. it. So right, that's very let's, fun. Let's make one. Yeah, for sure. So you start with a uh, A2 card, right? And then you can take a square window or the circular one. So you take your die cut and then you run it through, but mm -hmm. also you, you get your slit. So here you have a slit that you can see. This is Just where the slider, it, right? Through, the slider yeah. go through. So you run it once and then you get these two pieces together in the front of the car. So that part will be ready. The next part will be to assemble your grid. So you get an animation grid also included. Mm -hmm. You can use maybe two projects with one. And then I like to use this die cut. It's perfectly for the tab. So maybe I, you run it through and then you get this tab, fold it, and then fold the scoring part, and then you assemble your grid. Okay. So you have part one and part two already ready. Perfect. And then we can stamp one so you can see how easy it is to okay. stamp the animation stamp. You don't need to layer them or anything. Mm -hmm. So I will stamp one. But what I like to do is stamp it in a separate cardstock so um, so it's easier for you to place it once you have your window. So let's say I want to place it here. Uh -huh. We're going to go ahead. I already have some uh, tape here so we can pull that off, pull, pull that off and okay. quickly assemble the card so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's go on this side. Maybe we'll just go like that. Yeah, just whatever. Yeah, you just got. one, fine. right? And then you can just yes. Stick it down. Stick it down, and then the uh, easy part is like you assemble these already. And that goes in the little door. This goes in the little door right here. I already put some double slided uh, foam tape, so it will create like a guide for you. And then th that's it. That's how you assemble your background. And then you have some oh. embellishments that you can put the teddy bear. Yeah. You already have also the coordinated die cut here. And then, uh, yes, and that's how you finish your card. I just love it because, you know, it, it takes, it adds a whole nother dimension. I mean, you can make your cards, you know, three dimensional, whatever it is, but then you go in almost into like the, the next dimension when you're able to add that actual movement uh, just by sliding it back and forth. Um, we only have about, we started off, I think we had 17, 1800. We're already down under 1500 um, and they're going quick. It's 24.95. And again, um, remember $5 to ship all your stuff today as you go. But this is one of those ones that just diff. You, know, you get something different to do. It creates such a, another element in fun cards. So here we're showing you how to we stamp it down. Yeah, so what I like also about the stamps is that you get a straight edge on the base. Yeah. So you know how you uh, you can place it on your block and you know that it's going to be straight. Right. And our stamps are made in the UA, USA, so they're like high polymer. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really good. I really like to go around it because it's a background and it's like... Um, you want to make sure that all the lines are good and yes. then you lift straight up. Perfect. Perfect like that. And then you need your animation grid over and look at mm -hmm. that. And you can okay. just place your uh, character there and then you have a fun background 
to finish your card. It is absolutely the neatest thing ever. And and let's let's talk about everything that you get one more time in the kit. So what, Perfect. So when we order, show me sort of piece by piece what's included. All right, so you're gonna get your die cut set that I already told you you have like two windows. You can do like the square so that's, like with yeah, the that's your little windows. The circle. Then uh -huh. you get your teddy. And what I like about these uh, stamps is a two by three stamp set. You get a sentiment as well, a regular stamp and an animated little heart too. That's okay. super fun so to stamp all those around. Come with it. Yes. And then you can stamp and die cut your teddy and then color it and place it in your in your project. Mm -hmm. Also you will get an animation grid so and maybe you can cut in half and get two projects out of it. Okay. But we have more grids available like uh, three packs of three available. Oh yeah, buy. hey, yes. you know, hey Paul, do you have that by the way? The uh, there's uh there are three packs with three in each Okay, good. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna get. We'll we'll pop it up in the graphic from time to time. Um, but that's nine of the grids all together. Just right. so you're not confused. So you can make more it's projects. Not three, and it's three it. three packs. Right. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you're getting them. And I would I would go ahead and just order those because I know after if you do two projects you're gonna be like oh my gosh I gotta I gotta get a bunch of these. And you know what I love too is that you, uh, different applications, right? Um, you know because maybe when you're looking for a little more umph or maybe you're doing some a real special occasion you know uh, you're you're doing uh, even like we were saying Halloween you could do fun things with Halloween right, with this, of course, right? because you, yeah. scary stuff as scary it moves stuff around. And maybe get some bats that can move <laughs> around and fly um, but they're also great for birthdays they're great for kids because little kids love movement and color and all that fun stuff but even uh, you know grown-ups would like something you could make it a real sophisticated sort of a anniversary party or that a, can be fun yeah or like fun. a new year's eve and you could do something right i'm yes. just thinking all the fun things all the ideas that I'm... you could do um okay just over a thousand to go around so already 500 gone if you'd like to get it i'm telling you really going to add another dimension and i think a lot of people luciana and crafts you know they're they're always looking for something a little bit different something new and right. this is just a, a great extra touch. And, you know, maybe you've seen this on professional cards and you thought, I'd love to do that How, myself. And then now you can do it yourself yeah. and really quick steps. As you were saying something, I already pulled together this card. I know, and then you, you can complete it with the teddy and some embellishments yeah. that you have. And then you have a rotating wheel, a rotating background, and some hearts and stars. Uh, so it's super fun. Here oh I gosh. have, I'm going to reach over. Sorry. I can't Dan. even imagine, like, my producer Paul was just asking what you would pay for a card like that in a store. Right? You're going to pay five, six, seven bucks for a card. I mean, look, but you can make these things yourself. And I also love that, you know, depending on what stamp design you put down, it's right. kind of fun because you don't know what the movement's going to look right. like. Right. So here I combine <laughs> the hearts with the stars in one layout. So you get all the effect of the stars on the hearts as well. So that's super fun too. Oh yeah, for this, uh, for the price, what a, what a lot of bang for your buck that you get. Again, um, if you would like it, don't forget to order the extra grids if you would like those too. Um, it's a, a great value at only $24.95 and brand new. You're gonna really, really love this. Um, uh, just lots and lots of fun. Luciana, thank you yeah, so thank much. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Great job, that was exciting. All right, we are gonna take a break, but stick around, we got more great crafts coming up right after this. Our Happy Place cleaning products are made with plant-based ingredients, which means less chemicals in your house, which will make it a happy place. People think, can it work well? And it does. We chose plant-based ingredients so you're not breathing in fumes. You're not putting as many chemicals where your kids and your pets are touching them. There's a lot of great benefits to cleaning with our Happy Place products. If we can get your home clean, that's what makes your home a happy place. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. Can't have a crafting show without my girl Amber here. Amber Kim Gristel's here. It's good to see you, my dear. I'm doing well. Um, I, and it's fun to see you on a full crafting day. We did like a quick thing the other, a few weeks yes, ago. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. Fun, but Super it's quick. like, this is all about crafting. And, and boy, uh, uh, we are memory keepers. Great stuff. If you need to label stuff, this is the this this is way it. to go. And this is going <clears> to <throat> help you label in style. And how cool is the retro color so, design? What? Yes, yes, because we all know you're old. I appreciate <laughs> that. I like, uh, I like, uh, what do I, I like refined. 
Uh, yeah, but you're so. vintage. There you go. <laughs> but this is a throwback to yeah, those cool. label makers right. um, from back in the day, right? So this is a refreshed, revived version that we've created with We Are Memory Keepers. As you can see, as I'm holding in my hand, it's a lot larger than the label maker you're probably used to seeing from back in the day because we wanted to give it to you in a larger size so that you can really use it in a lot of your paper crafting projects and upgrade the way that you create customized sentiments and customized messaging on all of your projects. So this I'd like to introduce to you is the We Are Memory Keepers label maker. It is only available here. This yeah. is the only place you can get it right now. And I know so many of you have been excited to see it and here it is. So you have, we'll go over here and show you what it is that you're getting. You can choose between the blush or the mint. And yeah. the blush comes with two tapes, a pink tape and a black tape. The mint comes with two tapes, a kind of a dark, a deeper mint and a black tape yeah. that you can use to get yourself started. And we have extra tape too. Exactly, right. and, you can, and down here you can see the extra tapes yeah. that you can receive. So let's go ahead and let me show you quickly. We don't have a ton of time, but I do wanna show you how no. this works. So right here on top you can see you have your alphabet. And here is where you can insert your, um, your fonts. So you do have the option of replacing each, each um, label maker comes with two of these, an uppercase and a lowercase. Yeah, the little font wheel. The, the font wheel. Yes. I love it. Yeah. And you can also purchase additional font wheels with different, different yeah, styles of fonts. If you like fonts. something different. If sure. you want a little something different. But essentially <laughs> that's what you're going to have. And when you want to write your sentiment, you're just going to turn this wheel. And I love that it goes back and forth. So you can find your happy place. And let's see, I'm going to quickly write the word happy. So I land on the word, on the letter H. You can yep. kind of see right there in that yeah. little start and I'm just gonna punch okay so we're gonna keep going a and you want to make sure that you're well you're well in there and that yeah. your um, letter is in the right place so let's yeah. do P I mean, it helps if you know how to spell it does uh, 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 spelling helps. and if you don't yeah. this is a great tool to help yes. you learn Bring a little I, <laughs> dictionary that is you. what we developed <laughs> it for to help people spell yeah. let's see oh you know what my tape got stuck in there so let me let me uh, start over here but essentially I, I, I punch the word happy over there right. you would pull it out and then what you get here is a little sticker which is great because that truly is what makes it a label so you can yeah. see how the tool punches right up into the tape, leaves that Im that impression, and then you get your word right there. So you can either do an uppercase or a lowercase on this is the deeper teal that comes with yeah. the, the mint, and this is the color that comes with the blush. I think it's brilliant. You know, when you think about all the things in your house that you would want to label, and it could, doesn't just need to be crafts, it could be anything that's in your house, correct? I mean, even if you want to label your, sh you know, your little uh, containers yes. that hold your salts well, and look sugars and coffee and look all that right stuff. Look right here at some of the yeah. samples that we brought you. Look so at this want to label some of the things in your home like the mail or Love the bills that. and bring a little bit of flair to it that it's something that you created yourself right now i'm just punching out the alphabet just to give you guys a look at what happened yeah. so i've punched out the alphabet i'm sure you can come up with something far more interesting <laughs> but once you've done that what you'll do is right here there's a little lever that i'm going to pull down and that's how you're going to um, cut your tape off and once you've cut the tape off you do get a little perforation right here that allows you to turn, peel off the backing and get your sticker let me see my nails are my nails are getting in the way a little bit today but you can get your sticker yeah, you and peel it off you know you know how it works yeah. there we go so that's how you get your sticker and then you can use that on all of your projects so let's take a look at some of the things okay. that we've made here with this awesome you've done you've done some crafting stuff too we, right? we've done some crafting so a happy birthday card that has that i mean this just gives that vintage throwback element but with a bit of modern flair so we've taken what we were familiar with with our label makers of old and given it a refresh you can create any sentiment that you want and i know that many of you who are lovers of we are memory keepers have asked us for ways that you can create your own customized sentiments. You love your stamps, of course, you love your dies, but you love things that allow you to create layouts like this that have the year on it or have the name of the loved ones who you have in the photos mm -hmm. so that you can create customized images or customized sentiments for all of your projects. And, and there really is no limit to what you can create mm -hmm. here. Like I showed you before, I'll show you once again how this how the tool works when you get it you, home. You know what's good too is it's big enough to see. You can actually yeah, read yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what I, I really like too is, is like you said, it's old school. So it's, uh, you know, it's hand operated. It's, you don't have to replace any. And this is, you kind of want to leave it on 
near your desk, no? I totally do. Yeah, no yeah. batteries. I love no. that. It's like the old swing line stapler. You know, yeah. that you, that if you can get an old retro like thing like that, it's so neat to be able to do that. Exactly. And, and the color of it as well, because it comes in that old sort of a, the old pink or the old mint green, you know, which is the, which is that sort of retro look. Um, you're going to love it. We uh, we give you um, some of the um, the tape to go with it, the three quarter inch and the three eighth. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's included. But we also have other colored tapes and sizes available too, because we know, you know, sometimes you're going to go want to go large font, small font. You may want to change the font. We even have different label wheels. Yeah. Um, the the little uh, the, the font wheels. wheels that can be interchanged. Yes, those exactly. can be changed too, and we'll put some of those item numbers up uh, there, and you can see right there. Thank you, Paul. <clears throat> There's the six piece label it uh, tape bundle, and you can choose the colors and, and options that you want. But then we'll give you an idea of the size, the different texts, the different things you can utilize here. Yeah. So, exactly, and this is a great way to do that. So mm -hmm. this is with that larger tape that you'll get, and this is with the more narrow one. I love this wood grain one, which is one of the add-ons that you can purchase. That wood grain tape is so pretty. And here you can see these little Instax photos. Um, we added a date to each one, and that's a great way to kind of see the sizing that you're getting. That's one of the narrow tapes. But you have the ability to customize all of your images with that label tape that has that well, vintage I like the, feel. The dating thing is a good yeah, idea. Yeah, and it, dates it, down. exactly. So that's something right. that you can really only do when you have a way to customize your words and lettering on all of your projects. You, you know who has this? You know who would have this? Like a cool crafter. A cool oh, yeah, crafter. Like a cool crafter. You're a cool, crafter. Like, oh, no, You're a cool crafter. Uh, crafter just like me. Like, Hold on, let me make a label for that. You'd be like, look at you, vintage. What? That is yeah, so cool. Yeah, I totally agree with you. All right, so, and leave it to this one to bring it in. It's like, cool. All right, so uh, $29.95. By the way, if you want more tape, well, let's show them the tape. These are the tails of the tape there right there. There we go. So $16.95. You get four different packages. Neutrals. Metallics. What's that? The cools. The cools. And the warms. Okay, and if you have any questions on what that is, go to hsn.com <laughs> and it'll explain everything else that you need to go there. All right, so we are all about crafting. I'm with the lovely Amber here today. We're having a lot of fun. And uh, by the way, another, you know what I love too is we have a lot of brand new in this crafting event, including our embellishment tools bundle that, that um, Amber brings us. Um, this is gonna allow you to do lots of fun things, especially things like bows and tassels, yeah. little adornments, fun things, pom-poms, fun stuff that you can add to any project, right? Absolutely. These yeah. are the, you know, we love crafting with paper. We love crafting with all of our cards, and card making and scrapbooking materials, but these are going to allow you to create these embellishments that are really almost a little larger than life and, um, and use textiles like ribbons and yarn and yeah. twine, all the stuff that we have and maybe want to figure out a way to use. Well, these tools are going to be for you. Over here is what you're going to get in this embellishment bundle. And these are some of my favorite, favorite things to craft with. Tassels, such a hot trend. And Maybe I'm only saying that because I personally have a huge obsession with tassels, but this is a tassel loom that's gonna make tassel making so much easier and I'll show you how. You're also gonna get a pair of scissors because of course you need that if you're gonna cut any of the um, fibers that you're using, whether that be twine or ribbon or leather, whatever it is. Here is the bow maker. You know, I think the plight of every crafter is how to make the perfect bow. We are all on that mission. Well, you can your mission can end here because finally we have a really simple but ingenious tool for how to create the perfect bow. And then right down here is the pom-pom maker. It's a trio of pom-pom makers. I'm gonna show you how they work. Very simple, but again, the design here makes it so that you can create perfect little pom-poms for your birthday party hats, for your cards, anything that you wanna create a little bit of dimension and texture on, you can do with these tools. So everything here is gonna give you what you need. They're simple tools, but they're things that you need in your arsenal to be able to create perfect tassels, bows, pom-poms, and more. Uh, I'm excited to see how to make a pom <laughs> to make a pom pom because I well, never knew how to make that. Well, let's start with a pom pom. So, okay. All right. So this is what the pom pom maker looks like. You're going to get three of them: a large, a medium, and a small. I'm okay. going to start working with the large. This is what it looks like if, if you never did anything to it. It opens up just like this, and what you're going to do is take your yarn and on one of those half circles, uh -huh. start looping around and just go, you know, this is the kind of thing that you can cozy up to a movie and yeah. just start hanging out and making pom-poms all day. So load it up. Exactly, just start making pom-poms. So you will load that up on both sides and this is what you will end up with, okay? Then you're gonna take, I'm actually using these scissors because they're what I have on hand right now, but you're gonna snip open the pom-pom just like that. 
it's really kind of smart how this was done. You can see almost how it's yeah, starting yeah. to come become pom pommy. It is, it is. It's and then you're going to open it up on both sides. And now the last thing you just have to do is grab a piece of yarn. Let me okay. grab it here. And you're going to, the way it's made is you can take your string. Can you see that? Yeah. And pull it through. So now you're basically here. binding that exactly. you have. Oh my gosh. Guys, right? sometimes uh, I really oh, wonder how, it, how did crafting. you not become a professional crafter? Well, you I, say things that I make me think. Another, maybe I wasn't another It master. makes me think you might have been because you, you see go. the things I'm doing I, and you just know automatically. <laughs> it's very amazing. So uh, I've oh tied, I've binded it just yes. like you said with okay. in the center and now I can pull these apart and give it a little, oh. this, is, this is my technical way of doing it. But these would be little. Pump. How totally. cute! How cute that is that? Is and the adorable. only thing you have left to do is just clean give up your, snip. you know, yeah. give it a snip and make it rounded out a bit, so that you end up with something that's a perfect little pom pom. <laughs> and but, obviously, the, the the more material you use, right. the tighter the, the little tighter pom -pom it is. will be. And depending okay. on which which um, of the pom pom makers you use, yeah. you'll get a teeny one, a large one. Like here, this is one of my favorite projects: a little ice cream cone. So imagine this for a birthday party banner yeah. or for place card settings at a birthday right. party. Anything that needs a little bit of something for yeah. for the holidays. This could be a holly bear or for Thanksgiving. This could be a pom-pom on top of a piece of paper pumpkin pie. You know, There's so many ideas. Kim's coming up and she's got her, her knitting board and actually you could use a pom-pom for, for one of the hats that we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, right? yes. Or the it's, scarves or anything. Absolutely, yeah, if you're yeah, gonna yeah. be knitting anything and you wanna throw, I mean, I personally think a pom-pom should go on everything, so yeah, that's I, what you will need. I'm not far away from you on that. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so we made pom-poms. Now we're gonna do, are we gonna do some bows? Yeah, we'll do bows. Okay. Are you feeling like you need a bow in your life right I now? I could use a bow. Okay, you know. great, we will do that for you. Yeah. Here is the bow maker. Re Rebecca, my, uh, my directress is right on the top of my head. <laughs> oh, She'd like to put oh, a bow Oh, well, uh, you've placed your order. Let know, me fulfill it. There's a lot of hair up there. Anyway, go this ahead. This is the bow maker. And what's cool about this is it lays totally flat. It kind of looks like a big comb, but you can't see them probably on camera because they're very small. But right here, there are measurements that tell you how big your bow is going to be. Right. So you'll turn it towards you and bring a piece of ribbon in. And I'm going to make a four-inch bow. So I'm going to slide it in on the four-inch side here, on the four-inch side here, loop it around one. Once, and you, the more times you loop it around, the more loops you get in your finished bow. These little uh, kind of sl slits yeah. down here hold right. your bow in place oh, so that your go. next step is much easier. And I'm just gonna use this piece of yarn here because it's here, but you could use a piece of floral wire to do this as well. Now you feed it through there, tie it in the center. You're binding again. I'm binding, oh my goodness. You are binding Guy, again. I, why am I even here right now? <laughs> why don't I just go take a nap? I because don't you know. don't even need me, you can oh do this yourself. Well, that not that the, that's that's the great part about this, right, though, is that, I mean, look at this. So you have made that perfect little <sighs> bow right there in the center, Smart. and by then once you add a little bit of uh, but ribbon to the center, you end up yeah. with a bow that is truly <sighs> perfect. It yeah. is a perfect bow, and I know. It's a Christmas, I, a Christmas just, bow. Exactly, just yeah. like, or it's a guy. I don't have a way to stick it to you, but. Where's that King, where's that yeah, Kingston we, lady? Well, I know, well, Kingston, stuff. we need you to stick we something. Need to get her back out of here. <laughs> so that's how the bow maker works. That is awesome. It answers your problems for yeah. how to make the perfect bow. Well, yeah, because, and, and you want them consistent when you're making them, especially exactly. if, you're, you know, if you're making, um, you know, bows and you're doing greens and things like that, and you're doing stuff that you want to put up on your tree you want it for to holiday. Perfect. You want it to look nice if you're decorating a wreath or whatever it is or if you're just adorning uh, like we said you're putting a pom-pom on a hat you want it to be nice you want it to be perfect and these and are I will tell shortcuts you, to do it i will tell you this actually the way that this is designed uses less of your ribbon so you get a perfect bow without right. using a ton of your ribbon that the you waste. spend a lot of money on so this is a great way to get a perfect bow without using up all that precious ribbon let's quickly quickly go through the tassel loom yeah. because this one is my favorite now i've already started a tassel yeah look at those how cute are those a little bookmark oh, give me and, you know, for the kids, for, te for the for the teachers at school, making making personalized yeah. bookmarks. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah, that idea. Is that a cute yep. idea? Yep. So basically, I mean, at this point, you kind of get the idea, but I will show you once again, just for the um, fun of it. You are going to take the loom, open it up so it folds in half like this. You're going to open it up, and it has. You can make a six inch, four inch, or two inch tassel. Yeah. You're going to wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Tie it in the middle, and this is what you end up with. Once you've ended up with that, you can fold it so back cool. in place, add ribbon, or I'm sorry, um, 
add some more yarn to the center. You know what I love, just like Amber? This. Yes. I love Amber that somebody made a tassel. A making tassel machine. loom, and then it has these grooves down right. here in the bottom that you can cut into. I'm telling you, geniuses at work here that you make think? our crafting lives yeah. so much easier. Well, because a tassel you, on a pom pom and a bow are so integral in, in decorating and, and things de like that. In decorating and right. the things that we need, and well, you know, I, I love to use the word need so loosely, but you basically end up with you know, a perfect little tassel yeah. like that that and turns then, into a perfect little tassel. This, oh, by the way, that. is your only airing to do this. And I am telling you, this is such a great addition to any project um, or even any, like we said, even any clothing item. If you've got, um, you know, a blanket or an afghan or whatever oh, it is. Oh, yes, it could and be, you want to add tassels to the bottom want, of it. Yeah, you could yeah. do stuff like that. Or, you know, this could be a little, even the, like the end, a little pull chain for a fan or a light, right? Yes. You could use that as a yeah. cord. Oh. Where are you from I'm digging with deep. these ideas? I'm, digging, I'm going deep. I'm going. <laughs> I'm I'm creative. Job. You're stirring up all That's my creative crazy. stuff. I know. But no, I'm thinking because I because I love stuff like that. In fact, let me tell you, a girl I used to date um, years and years back bought two lampshades, and she loved them because they were they were kind of retro cool stuff, uh -huh. but they had pom poms yes. like around like a, you know like a sombrero we'll have yes. all around. And I remember thinking th they were the coolest things yes. ever. You could add those to your own. Absolutely. And I, jumbo the jumbo tassels are so hot right now. Yeah. A lot of people are putting them on the bottom of yeah. afghans, hanging them over the side of your bed. Well. Sister, you are so close to making them I yourself. I'd pay fifty dollars to learn not to get a tassel making machine. <laughs> well, you don't have to. Nineteen ninety-five, and you can make your own pom poms. <laughs> you know what's fun too is that, and kids, this is great stuff to do with your kids too because yeah. pom poms and fun and they can and both, decorate. All of this is stuff oh that God. is easy to use. It's just the genius of yeah. the design makes it easier for you to create at home. Is that it for my girl Amber? That's it. That's that's it. You're that's wonderful. It. That You're was so a lot fun. of fun. <laughs> well, that's just so much fun because I always I always wondered where tassels and pom poms well, now came you know. from. Now we, I know. We've taken the <laughs> out of all of it. Thank you, love. You're awesome. <laughs> I feel uh, Hey, by the way, I want to remind you, go to hsn.com, and there's lots of really, really cool stuff that you can pick up. And uh, don't forget to, um, oh, hey, by the way, I don't even know if we have any of the um, the little bag for the uh, Gemini Go uh, left available. I know those were selling out quickly. There's some Madonna's paints, all kinds of cool things. And remember, clearance stuff, we're just talking about the liquid silver with the storage bags. Very, very cool. All right, I am at the end of my two-hour block, and I will tell you we saved something very special for the end because I am so excited to work with Miss Kim Novak because my, you know, my grandma used to knit, used to knit for us. I also had a, a, a very close friend whose mother knit me a sweater years ago, oh, wow. and I am in love with the whole idea of handcrafted and all that. But boy, when I used to watch all the knitting by hand, yeah. Kim, I was like. How do you do oh, stuff like man. that? And, that and you make a mistake, and how do you back out? I'll, I know. Man. Well, <laughs> this lovely lady has something called the Authentic Knitting Board. Not only is it a beautiful handcrafted tool, but it's going to make it easier for you to be definitely, able to create definitely. things and no knitting experience required no, none at all actually all right. what you're going to do with this is an amazing tool because yeah. you're going to be able to create a double knit fabric wow, and what i mean thick. by double knit is it's both two-sided it okay. makes a look a yummy texture yeah to the fabric. yeah it's beautiful yeah and what's great about double knit is you're also going to be able to create those afghans and shawls and put a design in your knitting and then you turn it over and you have the design either on the other side. So it's really great for what you, wh when you want to have well, that design. Well, double knit is, is, is substantial. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, not, it's yeah. not paper thin. It's much more, you know, so if you're going to give somebody a blanket or a sweater, you want to oh, have it. Oh, you want it, it to be double hat, knit. Right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. it just so, so much better. Okay. Let me just tell you, when you take the loom out of the box, this okay. is what you're going to get. Right. It's made out of solid hardwood and 64 groove plastic pegs on each side. And you're also gonna get a little spacer on each end, and that is adjustable to three different settings, to um, three centimeters, two centimeters, and one centimeter. And that allows you to change the space between your two boards to create the different size of your stitch. Okay. So you can do very lightweight yarn, or you yeah. can use thick yarn. Not, not real complicated, not, right? Not, it's so easy. Okay. I just wanna show you, with it widened up here, you're gonna be able to make a 45 inch panel of knitting. This okay. is like the easiest thing you can knit on the loom, but it's just using all the pegs and that spacer opened up. 45 inches wide, so this would make an awesome blanket. Do you see how beautiful this is? Oh my gosh, and this is the double knit. This is the double knit. It's two-sided. Oh but what's great about it is yeah. so simple, and I just want to show you.
you how, how it works. Okay. Because no matter if you're making the hat yeah. or little slippers or small yeah. things or big things, the process of knitting on the loom is the same. How beautiful that hat is. Who would not who would not want a handmade hat from something? Like, oh, you know what I mean? I know. I mean I that know. would be you know, I know my son, he's out there <laughs> buying buying caps like this, very expensive right. online, and they're not made anything like this. Let me just oh my show gosh. you how it works. Okay, you're simply going to wrap the yarn around the pegs every other pin, every other peg. That's it. This is the weaving process. Okay. You weave I can do that. Yeah, again. you can do that. It's so easy. And, and you get, you as get you do it, end, you get better. Yeah, you get yeah. faster. Once you get to the end, you just turn this around. Uh-huh. And you do that again. Work in the other yeah, direction. Yeah, work in the other di direction. Can you see that up yeah. close? I see it. Okay, you just wrap around. And we've made us, we're doing a scarf so we can get through it a little bit quicker. Yeah, we just made a small okay. sample scarf. Yeah, exactly. And, and then, then now we're going to start the knitting process. And this is all you do. You take that bottom loop. Yeah. You go in that little groove there. Take that yes. bottom loop up over the top. Oh. And you're knitting. That's it? That is it. That's, that's how... That's, That's how you make these blankets. See, I saw people doing it with needles, and it looks like, oh my gosh, how do you, how do you keep your concentration? How do you, what, you know, this I is know. this is basic. Okay, basic, so back right? and forth twice, back and, and forth. then lift it up and over. And then just lift it over, and you do and it do on the other side, side too. And you push it down, and it comes down really rapidly. You know what's great is that if you need to go into the kitchen or you need to go take care of the kids, yeah. you come back and you see exactly where you left off. You're not going to lose a stitch. Nothing's coming off. It's staying yeah. right on that board. All right, so here's what I'll tell you. This is the only planned airing of this, and the reason is we didn't have a lot. We only had 1,000. In fact, we only have 900 now. It's going that quickly. So if you've always wanted to create something for yourself or for your family or for your kids or grandkids, maybe you wanted to do a little baby hat, right, yeah, for a newborn. Right. Or you oh, wanted to do, Or you wanted to do a grown-up hat this or you wanted hat. to make me a hat, whatever. Look at the little baby hat, the baby little baby outfit. clothes. Isn't that cute? We and, have a pattern for that. And so, yeah, so so that's the yeah, next question it was. Oh, but so, i got to tell you what else you get. Okay, the package. Okay. Going. I know. And you also I'm too excited. Get, <laughs> I don't know what to do. You get two extenders okay. in the loom, and that can go in place of those spacers, and that gives you a whole nother opportunity of things to make. Okay. It's super exciting. Put those extenders in and look oh, at this. I see. You can make a single knit blanket. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at. And that's going to be um, 50 inches wide on that <sighs> loom. Or you can even do weaving on the loom. Yeah. So you can set it up for all these different okay. things to do oh, on the man. loom the with this one kit. So awesome. Just pick oh. out, you know, go, go grab yourself a, right. a skein of yarn and you're good to go. And if um, you forget what I did here, it right. does come with a DVD. Yeah. And that's an hour and a half DVD. It's like having an instructor. Yeah, it's like having lost. me in your living room with you because I take you through each step yeah. of seven different stitches, yep. how to do buttonholes, how to change your you know what color. I, you know what I love too yarn. about this is that you, you get your own loom here and you you it's such a crafting handcrafted yeah. sort of there's so much history in stuff like this it, it's amazing you know i know we have a bunch of uh, girls that work here that are that do all kinds of crafting our one of our makeup artists crystal who who's I presently, I yeah. believe knitting me something as we speak uh, who works here uh, she she was saying how wonderful being able to own your own loom would yeah. be because normally you know you think of this exorbitant you know whole right. big process this is so simple yeah. yeah but you know i just want to show you you can also do delicate lacy knits on the loom too just depends on how you have that spacer set and um, what your yarn you're using so you're not just doing thick stuff you can do lacy lightweight stuff you can do the thick blankets oh wait, let me oh wait, i got to show right, you this only, i, I only have i have 800 <laughs> left if you would like this, I know a lot of people are going, I've always wanted to knit, but I never thought I, I would learn it. Because I know that's usually something somebody, grandma right, teaches right. to mom, and mom teaches right. to, to daughter. But no longer, because it's so yes. simple. We made it simple. Look, Look at this. this. This is one of the simplest things to make oh on the gosh. loom. Maybe we should hold it this way, so we'll show the long with there. Oh, okay, yeah. Look at yeah, wow. this is the easiest thing to make on the loom. Put a couple tassels on here, you're good to go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because <laughs> you just start um, weaving and hooking, and you use all the pegs. Yeah, and, and you just knit it as long and as you want, and I, you have the beautiful blanket. All right, with the people on the line, I have 600 left now. What I oh love, my goodness. you know what Going I love is, is that I never knew. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, I never knew because I'm not a knitter. Yeah. Um, but uh, that you could like the difference with a double knit and a single knit. Now I get it because I know um, when um, one of my ex-girlfriend's moms knitted me a sweater years and years yeah. ago, it was thick like this. So I mm -hmm. imagine she probably did it double knit. Probably, I would imagine, yeah. To because get it for this. a sweater, because you know it was it was a real winter, mm -hmm. you know, with the high collar and yeah. all that stuff. And I remember, man, that thing was so beautiful. Had it forever.
Um, I so just want to show you this again. yourself. Yeah. And again, in the process, no matter what you're doing, is just this simple weaving and hooking. And the little, you get the little. You tool. get the little tool. You yeah. get the two hour, or actually an hour and a half DVD. Five, five hundred. Shows you the process. Okay, about about six hundred are remaining. If everybody would like, and that's with everybody online. We have about almost two hundred people online, and less than two minutes. So. You know, this is, uh, even for crafters, there are crafters that never venture into the world of knitting. You know, they do their own sort of thing, but mm -hmm. you know, they, they, you know, you can, you can frame knitted projects, obviously, yeah. you know, you, you had said there's weaving, all kinds of things that you can do with this. So it can open up a whole new world to, to crafters out there that, you know, instead of just doing uh, crafting projects, they can create items of clothing, they can create a hat, they can do a scarf. Um, I love, look at you, even did a pot holder over there. Yeah, we did a pot awesome. holder, isn't that cool? You did a pot holder okay. and you just make it really big. Look at this. You put it in the washer and dryer and you can felt it. <laughs> oh man, you, you use like cool? industrial stuff yeah, for this right. thing. Oh, that is so great. But okay, it's, so. you know, it's the same process. Look at, it's you just, can make, <laughs> and even though, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm walking out with this. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, see you, Kim, take care. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm bringing my men. I just, you know, it's funny. You never know how many things right. you can do. And I, you know what I think is fun, too, is you get to see your progress yeah. falling out the bottom Right, as and it's you so go. fast, yeah. See? So all the way back. So, so if I'm to understand, I just, let, let me just tell you, folks out there, I just learned how to knit. So you take the little, uh, you take your wool back and forth, back and forth, all the way across, flip it around, back and forth, back and forth, all the way across. Exactly, grab that's your little, it. Grab your little needle, lift the loops over to the center, flip it around, go on the other side, lift the loop over to the center, and then watch, watch as it grows. You know, I'm and impressed. also you're gonna be able to make a very professional looking blanket the first time. You don't have to worry I'm about impressed. tight stitches and loose stitches, your tension. I'm gonna, you you're know gonna, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy this, and I think I'm gonna knit something. I think you I'm need I'm gonna it. knit something for Leslie. Leslie, what do you want me to knit you? Socks? Okay, I'll work on yeah, that. That might be this. a more advanced project. How about if I just start with socks and a hat? My girl Leslie, I work oh. with her on the weekends. So anyway, you are a pleasure. Thank you so oh, much. I enjoyed you. this. Thank very relaxing. It is, it is. I'm all chill now. This is the only <laughs> airing of the day. Stick around because the amazing Anna Griffin's coming up next with the lovely Leslie. I'll see you guys tomorrow.